What's up guys, Karadaka here, and today I'm here with another Nenor unboxing. Today we'll be unboxing the Denji Nenoroid from Chainsaw Man. So this one actually came out back in 2021, but uh, I haven't had a chance to open it. And this this one also had a re-release in 2022 in November. So if you guys, I think you guys should still be able to get this if you guys look hard enough, but uh, this is just kind of a video to help you guys decide whether you guys will actually want to pick this up or not. So Chainsaw Man has been pretty popular overseas, uh, not as much in Japan from what I heard, of course the Blu-ray sales. But yeah, this one should be a big one. This one's retailing for 6,100 yen, so it's actually very, a very, very good deal for its price. Uh, we'll have a look at all the, the main body first and all the accessories comes with. But from the looks of it, yeah, 6,100 yen is, is a very, a very, very good deal. Especially since um, the last year Nenoroids we reviewed, you know, I was a little bit disappointed with accessories, but as you guys can see with the big box and his different form changes, you know this one's gonna be pretty good. So this one's uh, manufactured by Good Smell Company, so uh, the quality should also be pretty decent. And yeah, let's, have a look at the main body first after we get this plastic off. All right, so here we have the main Nendoroid. Uh, he looks pretty generic. He has his obviously the the the, the white shirt and black pants that uh, is part of his uniform. We also have his tie. Oops. We also have his tie, which is pretty good. And his arms, they're all in a peg, peg and hole. So there's not too much articulation here, but there is a little bit on his uh, foot. There's, it's on a ball joint, I believe. There's the leg is on a ball joint, but yeah, uh, his head sculpt looks pretty good. This part looks a little bit weird with the, uh, the molding seams here. But everything else looks okay. It kind of blends okay with the, with the head, uh, just because his head is not very round in the first place. And his face looks pretty good. So the main android, no problems. No, I don't think I see any paint defects at all. So pretty good, pretty good main body. Let's have a look at this uh, faceplate. So it only comes with one additional faceplate which is this tongue sticking out face, which also looks pretty good. So there's that. And let's have a look at its accessories. So this is the main, the main attraction to this Nenoroid. So we have his chainsaw head, which I guess counts as another faceplate. So take that out, jam his tongue back in. And yeah, this looks really good. Like you can see all the detail with the the, uh, the gears and the, the engine, and it's a, it's a metallic finish. And then you also see the metallic finish on the different types of metallic finishes on the actual metal, the blood, and. This red part's a bit glossy, and the teeth is also uh, painted painted on pretty well. Yeah, this looks really good. Let's try to put his uh, head in. Actually, we'll, we'll do that for later because he will need to be on his uh, stand. So let's have a look at its other accessories. So it comes with this blood splatter effect as well. So I think it just goes inside the chain of saw heart here. Go. So once you slot it in, you can make him do the chainsaw blood spatter effect. This one looks a bit tacky, but 
I think it'll look better once it's posed. Uh, additionally, it also comes with a pochita. Very, very cute. The pochita has... Uh, it has also metallic finish. And it's glossy on the parts where it's supposed to be glossy. And the body is pretty matte. The detailing on the, the Pachita is very nice. Next is the chainsaw arms. So obviously, you're gonna, you're gonna need these chainsaw arms if you want, if you want to use them in the chainsaw mode. And here he is with his rev, revving his chainsaw. All right. So those are all the accessories it comes with. Uh, let's have a look at its stand. So this is the stand it comes with. Oh, we also have uh, legs, different legs. He has bent legs here. Okay, that's cool. And we also have backup joints for his both of his heads. So you'll see here we have extra hands and we have the extra legs. So these are also extra joints. So you get one for his regular head and one for his chainsaw head. That is very very nice because these joints tend to snap a lot easier because they're double jointed and you tend to move them around a lot more. So it's nice that they gave us extra joint there. All right, so here he is with the chainsaw head. It is very top heavy now, so you're definitely gonna need to use him with the stand. Uh, let's let's move, remove his arms and replace it with the chainsaw ones. So here is chainsaw arm one. Chainsaw arm two. And then if you want to pose him with his chainsaw pose, you're probably need to replace one of the legs as well. But let's just try to prop him up in the stand first. The peg hole looks very tight. The tie is also very loose, so you might want to be careful with that. Alright, so here he is. Let's see. Let's back in. Alright, here he is with the Chainsaw Man iconic pose, sort of. You can kind of pluck the tongue out as well and then shut, shut the uh, mouth. And let's also. Co open the leg, uh, the leg art uh, accessories. Oh, there you go. Yeah, he actually even even with the chainsaw head, he actually actually comes with more accessories than I thought. Cause the the arms, I didn't think they would come with the extra hands and stuff. So that's pretty cool. All right. Let's try to replace this leg. It's this leg. So just put the foot back in the ball joint socket. This looks really good, like, honestly, very good. If I, open, if I open this in 2021, this will probably be one of my favorite Nintendo of 2021. Uh, yeah, very nice. So, obviously we also have these hands here, these regular hands. Uh, you can just replace these hands with these hands. And you can probably do other poses with those. Let's try that. 
let's take this head back out. Oop. Slot in its regular face. Back. Okay. And then let's have him rev his chainsaw. Yeah, this the tie. The main, my main issue is with the tie, though. They could have actually. I don't know. I, I don't know how else they could have implemented it, but it's it pops out really easily. And let's also try to exchange his faceplate before we wrap things up. Yeah, very nice. And you know, Pochita is not supposed to be here because he's he's dead. But uh, it's nice that they gave us this anyway. Just put it next to Deji. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this review, guys. Uh, overall, very very happy with Nendoroid. Uh, I already I have power that's now open in the next video. And I also pre-ordered uh, Aki and Makima. So when those come out, I'll also be doing reviews for those. Overall, very happy with the Chainsaw Man Android so far. Hopefully the rest of the line is just as good. Uh, the, Chainsaw Man, the Chainsaw Man line is definitely a lot better than the Spy Family line for me so far. Um, I don't know, we'll see. Because the, the, the power also released in the same month as as uh, Deji on his initial release, so I think uh, with the with the re-release coming out, I think the power. Get, oh, we'll, we'll talk about that when 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 we're doing a review for that. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stay tuned for the B-roll, uh, and stay tuned for more Nenroid videos. This is Karataku, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.